Happy Sunday to you. How are you? Happy Sunday. In the latest Taurus readings, I've noticed that there's a lot of Taurian energy, and I was just wondering if there are two Taurus in this connection. Who's jumping out here? Emperor Aries energy. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a split read with Taurus Taurus. A split read for past, current, future energy, individual challenge, and then couple, couple. <coughs> and Taurus, you got me going with the throat chakra already. Bottom of the deck so far. Taurus, Taurus energy. Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Now, if these are two different signs, I would have to stop after the first four layouts and then reshuffle and then bring the couple, the last two couples cards down. Taurus. Okay, Observer, Cross Watcher, these are your cards. This is your past energy. This is your current energy. Mm -hmm. Your future energy. That's nice, though. This is your person's past energy, your person's current energy, and your person's future energy. <laughs> this next card is for both of you. This is your, as a couple, energy challenge. Communication. And this is, again, your, as a couple, energy card for outcome. Ace of Swords, Universe. The bottom of the deck, framing this reading, we have a page of pentacles. Let's begin with you, Observer. You could be a Taurus. You could definitely be a Taurus. Here you are. The Hierophant. Traditionally, and knowing the things that you know go beyond scholarly. They're intuitive. They are, these are the, the unanswerable answers when someone says, well, how do you know that? And you say, you just, I know. I just know. That's you in all of your glory. Hierophant. Such a strong card, but it's non-assuming. It's not in your face. Do you see the, the two scribes are coming toward the Hierophant for information. The Hierophant isn't hitting anyone over the head with all that they know. So what usually happens, this person is wise beyond their years. People come to this person constantly for advice or just to be around the soothing, elevated entity. Justice in reverse. So this is your past energy, your current energy. Libra, justice in reverse. You're waiting for things to be fair. <laughs> You're waiting for the scales you see the scales? You're waiting for the scales to even out. As they should, because you have you have been what what are you trying to say? You have gone above and beyond what? You have gone above and beyond what is expected. You have gone above and beyond what anyone else would I don't say anyone else, but most people. You have gone above and beyond what most people would have 
now that's the word that I'm hearing is tolerated, but I it's more kind than tolerated. Let's just put it as you have gone above and beyond and leave it at that. Mm. The things you've seen. Your future energy is to receive equal. Six of Pentacles. And again, the scale, right? But this is an upright. This is an upright. So you should expect things to even out. You'll know what I mean by that. An even give and take, an even expenditure of energy, an even acknowledgement of responsibility. The world must not always be on your shoulders. Let's go to your observance, your, your person. In the past, they really, it's not just, um, strength was, a, strength was an issue. Strength was, in their past energy, it's almost as if they were moved by the last person who spoke to them. They they were too reliant on the energy of other people and not their own energy. Why was that so difficult to say? I guess because it's not something that they want to acknowledge. It's just, it is what it is. So current energy, your person. There's the budget. The budget is a little bit, um, I'm not going to say in crisis. I'm going to say um, emphasized. Emphasized. You also, I'm also drawn to the way he, this, you see the fourth pentacle? They're just holding onto it by even their fingernails. And here it's, it's almost a reliance that you're not going to go anywhere. The fourth pentacle is you. So it's not, here's where they're like, I hope like, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to just hold and hold and hold it. And, and they're not going to go anywhere. Here is, I'm relying on you not to leave, not to go anywhere. But that's, that's rather nice for someone who came this far. I love it. Future energy for your person is Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands, in reverse. So, um, I, I'm, please don't think I'm being mean. Please take this with a grain of salt as far as words go, because I give a lot of credit where credit is due. It's, your person is giving up the idea of victimhood. It's not that they're denying that they went through trauma. It's they're no longer utilizing it as a reason not to do well. That's their future energy. They're coming to it. For those of you who understand this reading, that will make sense to you. I don't know. Can I re-approach? Can I re-approach? Yeah, this person is no longer, you, know, you see how they're standing there with a, a wounded head and they're just leaning on the wand. It's almost like, um, well, it's the wounded warrior pose, but now it's like, I don't need to be defined by the trauma of my past. Point. I'm leaving it at that. The energy between the two of you is what has always been, like a swords in reverse, just the communication is, it needs work. It needs time for you to get. There's a card in the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue having to do with taking the time to get to know each other. Even if you've been with this person for many years, There are things that are just assumed and not spoken of. It might be 
a turn of the page with that. And the more the, the more that words represent those feelings, the less those feelings hurt. I am so happy to see that. And I love that someone told me to turn the page. Possible outcome, Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's, there, uh, there is still a little bit of fog, shadow, but it's not as deep, thick, troublesome as it was in the past. All in all, this is very positive for Taurus, Taurus. Framing the cards, these, these beautiful cards, is the Page of Pentacles. To me, this is just such a cute card. And sometimes it's the small gestures that mean so much. The small gesture. Look for a small gesture just of saying um, in their own inimitable way, you are so valuable to me. You mean the world to me. Taurus, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. Um, I think Marie asked for another couple's reading too. I'm not ignoring you. Um, let, uh, give me time. <laughs> give me time, Marie. Okay, take good care. Bye-bye.